All right, kick now lets users blacklist hot tub and gambling streams from recommended. I think this is a W, honestly. This is huge. And I don't even think it's a W, it is a W. Let's take that back. A new uh, kick update now lets users remove hot tub and gambling streams from the recommended on the site. Since the beginning of 2023, kick has been on the rise within the streaming community, going as far as to rival industry titan Twitch. So far, the new platform presents several features to entice streamers as well as viewers to make the jump, signing top talents like Aiden Ross, XQC, as well as offering perks such as a superior subscription revenue, a 95% split compared to Twitch's 50. It's no wonder Kick is seeing massive growth, amassing over 10 million registration accounts in the first month. It's certainly clear that the platform has the best interests of the community in mind, recently improving its it's bot protection and implementing a new update that will remove unnecessary exposure to gambling streams. On top of that, former Twitch streamer and the platformer's co-owner, Trainrex, has announced that Kick will offer users the option to completely remove all content that contains bikinis, pools, hot tubs and slots, and casino content. In July 3rd, Sweet Trainrex announced the latest update. It will give all users the option to completely remove all content that could be considered controversial across the entire site. Among these include, obviously, the hot tubs and casinos or gambling. And that's train wreck showing the aspect of where you can click, which I have clicked it. It's fair to say that the update ha had been well received with many praising the platform and listening for prioritizing the community above all. Might be the time full send in the green app, you guys. Eyes listen to your creators, said one. Improvements to better use your experience. The fact is always the creators and the viewers before the company feels so huge added another it's clear kick doesn't expect to slow down anytime soon according to the platform they're experiencing exponential growth and have already upgraded their services to handle and expect increase in users in continuous months this is a massive w, super super huge w because this is all over my timeline and it's honestly annoying and the morality issue is that it's annoying that people are telling you hey don't do this because of this so i'm gonna tell you guys just a quick story why i say it's annoying and i don't necessarily agree with this for a little bit i was there's a, a lot of recent companies that don't that like came out with statements or doing things that i 100 like may not agree with right or don't agree with i should say not may not i don't agree with a lot of that is to through my moral code through the bible the people right ESV and what I believe my wife and I sat down and had a discussion of like, Hey, so should we, should we be like supporting certain companies, supporting certain things, knowing where our money's going. Right. And this is not like, Hey, my money's going to go there anyways. So go. But the mentality that I take it at is if, if I'm doing that for one, then I got to do that for all. Cause it doesn't make sense to just do it for one. Cause then the question will rise. Well, you did it for this one because of this one. Well, do you know this company's beliefs and values? Now, are you going to support that company now? Oh, there's this other company. Now, this is the company's beliefs and values. And then you get into a rabbit hole. And eventually, genuinely, you'll have to live in, in a cabin somewhere in the mountain, away from all society, and not support anything. And I live in a van down by the river. Or not get anything and live that life. Not that that's not feasible. Some people are great for that. Not that it's like, well, I don't want to do that, so I guess I'm not going to do that anymore. But what I treated it as and what helped me understand the discernment that I got is it's like giving money to a homeless person. Some people might say, what's well, that's a weird correlation. Like, no, it's perfect correlation because when I get, give money to a, a homeless person, whether I believe they're going to use the money for something bad or not, I'm doing my, like, I'm just doing a justice. Like, Hey, I'm just trying to be a good human being and help a person out. I'm not giving somebody the money so that way they can go and utilize it on drugs and utilize it on whatever else their vice may be and cause harm to themselves, maybe even death. The ownership of responsibility of that money leaves my hands the moment I give it away. The moment I purchase something. It's no longer my money to use. There's no guilty conscience in that. And that's when I started understanding a few things. There's some things that we, we like literally, Hey, we're not just, we're not supporting this. We're not doing that. That's fine. And I'm okay with that. No money goes to that. There's other things like there's companies that have a lot of essential things of like for us to live, not as essential things of life, but if for us to live, like they, they have groceries, they have things or a lot of other things. So for me to sit there and say, Hey, I'm not going to purchase from these companies. I'd be shooting myself and my family in the foot because we're, we also aren't in a place to be growing our own produce, having our own livestock, 
uh, and getting everything else made that we need. That makes sense. That worked to be able to provide for that lifestyle. And when it comes to correlate this, because when it comes to kick streaming, the, the narrative is if you stream on kick, then you 100% support our, um, slots and casinos. I would say the more like moral Christianity group that talks a lot more about pools and hot tubs because right now just the exploitation of of sex and the exploitation of of like just the human body i would say male and female is is on the rise i mean that's why you got like only fans and then there's a few other ones that that came up you got p stars that are making a ton of money like that's just been a thing for a while but now it's just starting to become more and more common especially with the only fans coming out and more people don't care. So like, oh, well, you're pulling hot tubs. You're exploiting that, and you're exploiting you're you're exploiting your body, and you're exploiting something that people oh, that's I like a taboo thing, but that people obviously gravitate to a lot. And that one I would say is is more more fought on on a moral Christian standpoint. And I know the other side can go the other way too. It's not that it's impossible for it to go in that aspect, but a lot of people are just using it as their scapegoat. And uh, I remember just seeing this, and I thought it was funny. Because uh, I'm not sure if it was train wrecks or somebody in the community that I have on Twitter posted a picture of, took a picture of, of the categories on Twitch. So like all the slots, they're the two major slots, I should say, categories on, on Twitch and then casinos. And then the two major categories on kick and on Twitch, there had to have been four times the amount that there were on kick. But then from what I'm like reading into it, because I wanted to figure out what the argument, like why is everybody pissed off in, in like, even just some of the casino and slots people are pissed off in general at each other, right? Like they're actually going after their own own uh, community. So I'm like, well, this is weird. Like you 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 stream slots and casino stuff, and so why are you going after these other people? Because these people are doing stuff illegally. There's been many. Um, I forget what the name of the creator was. But he basically asked for everybody for money to be able to gamble and like scammed out in, in a way of a scam and scammed like one point some million dollars out of his whole community that watched him gamble uh, because it wasn't a legitimate site or wasn't a legitimate this or a legitimate that like the money wasn't they were they were gambling with free money, but he was making everybody think that he was gambling with real money and he was really good at gambling. And so. People just kept giving him money to continue gambling because they liked how he gambled. And um, he talked a lot about gambling, but it ended up being a fluke, he, you know, things like that. And that apparently happens a lot more over on Twitch and with Trainwrecks taking over Kick. Well, not taking over, he's a co-owner of Kick and him being a gambling streamer. People know him as that. He himself was able to set guidelines to be able to stop most of that, right? At least people up front, people that just see the, the rules and they're like, oh, dang. I know I'm going to break those. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do it legit, legitly here and, and do that. There's still probably a very much likely there's still offenders that need to be found. And hey, justice needs to be acted. They were describing how that's the reason why it's like two polar opposites. And there's less people on kick gambling that there is more people on Twitch gambling. Then there's the also aspect that Twitch is the titan of streaming. When you think about streaming, you think about Twitch. But now Kick is starting to make that type of imprint for people around the, the streaming community. That if you don't stream before, it's like you stream on Kick. Oh, ugh, because of all the drama that's going on, right? So all the drama that's going on right now, especially with this, everybody's like, oh, you're streaming on Kick. Oh, it's gr gross. And some people are like, oh, gr good, good for you. Good for you, right? Th there's those things, right? So the thing is, I don't think it's a valid argument at the end of the day. One, I think this is huge because people who have this argument of like, yo, slots, all this other stuff, you have the option to turn it off. Now you have the option to turn it back on, uh, like turn it on and turn it off, right? You also can still search these things. If you type in slots and casinos on your search bar, you'll find slots and casinos on your search bar. Or like you'll, you'll find the category and able to go in, into it. Same thing with pools, hot tubs and bikinis, all that that not nonsense of people coming out and saying that it just removes them from your recommended. So that means that's not the first thing you'll see. So let's go over to kick here. We'll go to kick. That's not the first thing you see. See, we have it activated and that took out most of the slot, like most of everything. I remember here I had a, like three different slots and that's what it just showed for everybody. But as you can see, like it's not, it's not there. It's not on your recommended. Um, I don't even know if it's on your browsing. If you go into browsing and said IRL, 
Yeah. Even if you get like IRL or browsing IRL, then people are getting mad too because a lot of these pools and hot tub streamers can just at one point, even if they're, they're not doing pools and hot tubs, but they're still dressed super skimpy, they can type in, hey, we're just chatting. And all of a sudden they're in your IRL screen. Um, you could still go over to gambling, right? Poker, tabletop, which is low. There's really nothing here. You, you don't have slots though, because you have that feature, you have this clicked. And so that's what happens here when you're running kick with the ability to hide those things from your content and preferences. But again, if I was to type in slots and I was to go, Oh, here you can see one of the first things that comes up is lucky slots and slots and casino. So I'm deliberately going to go and look for those things and you'll be able to find those things. Right. And I spelled slots wrong hundred percent just to redeem myself slots. So there's that aspect of things, right? I don't think it's a legitimate argument to sit there and argue, Hey, this is something wrong with the platform. You shouldn't support it because if that's the case, I do feel like it's a blanket statement. You should do that with almost, if not everything that you're doing. If you have a, like as a Christian standpoint, if you're arguing it from the side of casino and slots, again, I, I think it's just a uh, personal conviction. I think that one, you should be, it, it's a personal no conviction in shaming people, throwing the word on people in a way to push them away from kick horrible because the thing is Twitch, YouTube, and everywhere else is doing it. The same thing too. So where are you streaming at? How are you streaming? Where are you getting to your viewers? Cause you got some Christian streamers that think they're all high and mighty. They're going shaming other Christian streamers or other believers. If they're on kick, like can't believe you're on kick, my friend, because of these reasons. And lately, because they added the pools and hot tub button, they're sitting there like, Hey, well, you shouldn't be watching or you shouldn't be doing this for pools and hot tub. Honestly, I would say go to go to kick. Cause you have the opportunities to hide that. You don't have the opportunities to hide that on, on Twitch. You can just be browsing. Like I'm just going to browse today. And that's just going to be on my, on my browser th or like not the browser history, just like the browser store. So we go over into Twitch and I just say browse, that's going to be all over here, right? You have to deliberately click on certain things, but it's, it's available for me. It's right there. It's everywhere. You can, you can click on it. That's not a thing on your recommended. It'll pop up sometimes, right? It pops up whatever on here. So they have a lot of different things that it'll show up on there. That's the aspect of things, right? If anything, if you're going to sit here and say like kick, isn't a great place to be at like for a Christian moral perspective, I think it would be a better place since you have the tools to moderate what you're looking at. You don't have that on Twitch. The only tools you have is your brain and your hand and telling you not to go anywhere that you're not supposed to be. And just having that type of accountability here. I don't even have to worry about it. I can now like queue up. I used to hate it because like, especially since Amaranth has been on there, right? She's if anytime she goes live, she's on the first page right here. So I have to quickly move over and hit something like that, right? Go over to my creator dashboard or go over to my profile and then start looking for people that add, I'm trying to watch, which I got a couple of boys and he's for rank that go live and I go in there and like, Hey, you need one. But I think it's definitely an L take. If you're sitting here as a Christian in person, absolutely dropping bombs on people in a negative way, in a horrible way for being on kick. If you're even on Twitch or YouTube or anything else, like you, you just look like the log and the, the man with the log in his eye scenario, right? Pointing out all the specs and everybody else, but you got a log in your own eye because you're also in a platform that probably supports hundred percent what you don't support and your money's going and that money's going somewhere, right? People are like, well, money's going this, that it's owned by a gambling site. It's owned by a gambling company, but a lot of uh, like a lot of other things are, you think steak is only in kick and Alfa Romero. If you look up where steak is and like how much they're investing in other, or other, uh, industries like the NFL, the NBA, the MLB, you would be freaking surprised. So you're telling me you're not going to watch, like if you're a diehard NFL friend, you're not going to watch NFL anymore because steak is in it.